Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. Beer in the Old West. I think we should investigate. What? Beer? Where? Well, it's not here yet. It's going to be here soon. What? Probably in a you day say or beer? So. Yeah, it, it'll be here. That's coffee. Roll the film. Fellow YouTuber Tim at 8-Bit Chicken is known for his home brewing and beer reviews. When he contacted me about doing a beer from the Old West, I hopped on the idea. Not only that, but he brewed some and sent it to me. It appears that he actually did research and found a recipe for 1880s beer. He then brewed it in an oak cask, which is the way it was done back then. So while we wait for it to arrive, let's go do some history. We don't have no beer, just tequila. What, what's tequila? Yeah, it's like beer. Is it fattening? Beer was frequently served room temperature since ice was not common. The drinking establishments tried to keep beer at around 76 degrees, but when you add the age of no refrigeration to summer temperatures reaching the hundreds, that was a tall order. It was like Africa hot. Tarzan couldn't take this kind of hot. Oh, and it went flat quick and wasn't as sudsy as today's brews, so drink up. Uh, fast! A glass of beer was served directly from the large wooden casks they were made in to keep it from going flat. Today, nothing cuts the trail dust quite like a cold brewski, but many European immigrants were used to the temperatures being slightly tepid, so in the 19th century, it was acceptable. Although bottled beer was around in the 1870s, it didn't become a popular thing out west until much later when pasteurization became prevalent. So, there were local breweries in metropolitan areas. Like today, these were generally a saloon. In the 1880s, Tombstone boasted five breweries and Denver had ten, just to give you an idea of how popular they were. Now, Tim's palate is much more refined than mine when it comes to beer. He can single out the hints of vanilla, oak, region the hops was grown in, and whether or not Justin Bieber should spike his hair. Yeah, he and his crew know their stuff. Some breweries outlasted the Old West. You may be familiar with some of the popular ones like Anheuser-Busch, Coors, Miller, and Pabst. All of them have been making beer since the mid to late 1800s. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Similar to current times, there were a variety of beers to choose from, like pale ales, lagers, stouts, porters, and pilsners. All right, guys, right now we got a really nice light amber color, and as you see, I just pitched in the Hellitzauer hops, and it was 1.6 ounces at 60 minutes. So, like I said, we're doing a uh, basic German pilsner. Um, I wanted to throw some corn in there because the Old West times, corn was a huge crop back then. And I am going to oak age this beer. This is going to be a grain of glass. beer. I'm glad the guys over at the Arizona Ghost Riders let me take the time and oak age this beer because that makes this beer. The flavor, you're getting a lot of whiskey notes from the oak, um, some very vanilla, the same kind of things you're getting out of a nice oak aged whiskey or barrel aged whiskey. You're getting that caramely whiskey goodness within this. All right. It's here, so let's taste the Old West. Well, we got Tim's beer. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, I can smell sage. I can smell some hints of chaparral. Ooh, yeah, I can definitely get the oak and some vanilla. Wow, Tim, you really got this right. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, it's good. You drank yours already? No, oh, yeah, you got any more of that stuff? No, he only, he only said it's like two bottles. <clears throat> I'm going on a beer run. Well, Tim, thank you very much. This is awesome. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. <laughs>